Hi. Today we'll be using SQL to solve a game called Map. So let's try playing it first. Uh, basically the rules are the colors of each of these regions cannot be the same as the color of an adjacent region. So for instance, this red one here cannot be red also on the one touching it to the right. So this region that I just colored, I colored red, but it can't be red, it can't be brown because that's here, it can't be yellow because it's here, and there are only four options, so it must be the fourth option, green. So let's color it green, and uh, let's continue solving this. Um, I'm just guessing at this point, so I might have to uh, fix some of my mistakes. Okay, it looks like I solved it. Uh, there's only one solution possible to each game, so there's a uniqueness, and uh, so let's go ahead and try solving that. So we can number the regions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so we'll use color convention red is 1, yellow 2, green 3, brown 4, and let's go ahead and get started. So select star from, open parens, select 1 is the color code for red, so we'll select 1, alias it as C1, color 1, from dual, alias this table is T1, join, open paren, select color, at least it is C2 color 2 from table color at least that is T2 on T2 dot C2 does not equal T1 dot C1 so that's making sure that the colors of 1 and 2 aren't equal so we can run that C1 is given as 1 or red C2 is anything but that, so 2, 3, and 4. Let's continue, so join, select, region 3 is brown, so select 4, alias that is C3, from dual, alias this table is T3, and we'll look at the regions uh, that we've already covered and add any constraints, so on t3.c3 not equal c2.c2 we see that regions 2 and 3 are touching so we'll put that regions 3 and 1 are not touching so we won't put any constraint on that so we can run that and we get only two rows here meaning two possible combinations for these so c1 is red c3 is brown we know those they're given so that means T2 uh, effectively isn't either of those, so it can either be 2 or 3, yellow or green. So we can continue doing this for the other regions. I wrote a program in Java that will help us generate this SQL code. So 1 is always empty, there are no regions um, with an index less than 1. We start at 1. 2 touches 1, semicolon. 3 touches 2, and doesn't touch 1. 4 touches 3, and 2. 5 touches just 1. And lastly, 10 touches 9 and 5. Okay, let's copy the known string and fill it in for this puzzle. So it's just the region index equals the color code. And again, red is 1, yellow 2, green 3, brown 4. So 1 is equal to 1, or red, 3 is brown, 4 is yellow, 
8 is brown, and 10 is green. So we can run that. That gives us some generated SQL code here. We can click and go to run this, and you can see it generates a single row, so the unique constraint is satisfied. There's only one solution. Two is green, or three, brown, yellow. Five is yellow. Six is brown. Seven is yellow. Eight is given. Nine is red. And that solved it. Let's try the, I guess, unreasonable difficulty. Okay, we have them numbered. So one touches nothing, two touches one, three touches two, four touches three. Okay, let's run that. Get the SQL and Let's try running the SQL now. Okay, so we got a single row, so that's what we're expecting, a unique solution. Okay, so one is yellow or color code two. Three is also yellow. Next we need six is brown. So 23, 24, 25, red, brown, red. Okay, and yeah, 26 and on are already given, so it solved the puzzle. So um, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.